Hello everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be tying a buzzer pattern using jungle cock to make the wing buds. The hook I've got in the vise is a size 10 grub hook from Partridge. The thread I'm using is UTC 70 in olive. The rib on this fly is going to be made up of stripped peacock curl. And the thorax cover is some opal mirage tinsel. For the wing buds I'm going to be using some split jungle cock feathers. Now I've got a bit of a rubbish jungle cock cape so most of mine are split already which is actually a bit of a bonus when you're tying this pattern. So let's get started. I'm going to tie on my thread just behind the hook eye, make a few turns back to secure and then snip off the excess. The next material I'm tying in is the rib and here I'm actually going to use some dyed green peacock curl which gives a nice colour effect with the olive underbody. It's also got a little bit of UV fluorescence to it from the dye, and you'll see that quite clearly later when we're curing the UV resin. I'm going to tie that around the bend of the hook shank. I like to tie my buzzers with a bit of a curve to the body, because I think it looks a lot more natural. I'm going to carry the thread back forward, and we can break off the excess quill. Now I'm taking a bit of time here, I've cut it out of the video because it's just me wrapping thread, to build up a nice smooth tapered underbody. I like using UTC 70 because you can spin it very flat and build up a nice smooth body like here. Now I'm going to wrap the rib, and I'm being very gentle here, the peacock curl is quite a fragile material, so I'm using the rotary function on my vise and just laying down some nice even turns up the length of the body. And you can see how that green colour works really nicely with the olive underbody. I'm going to tie off the peacock curl here make a few nice tight turns to secure and then you can just break away the excess. Now I'm going to reposition my hook in the vise here. I'm finished with tying the body so the rest of the work is going to be done on the thorax and having it flatter like this means you're less likely to drop your thread off the edge of the hook eye. Here I'm tying in the tinsel. I'm taking a bit of time to position that nicely on top of the body and this is going to represent the air bubbles that form underneath the skin of the coronamid as it ascends to the surface to emerge. I've tied that back the length of the thorax and it's wanting to curl up a bit so I'm using my materials clip on my vise to hold it out of the way. Again I've taken a bit of time to build up a bulbous thorax here and I've got a split jungle cock feather here and I've encouraged that split down the length of the, the length of the enameled bit and into the stem and I'm making sure to tie it in on the soft black part of the feather. Now I'm happy with the positioning. It doesn't always go that smoothly, but here it's gone well first time. I'm trimming off the excess stem, making sure to keep the hook eye nice and clear, and we can bring over that tinsel and form the thorax cover. Make a nice tight turn to secure and come underneath. And that's everything tied on, so now I'm going to come in with my whip finisher. I've had a few people ask me about this, it's the Marc Petitjean one, and I find that it's the nicest one I've used and you can make really nice tight finishes, especially on small flies. It is quite expensive, but I like it. I'm going to trim off the thread and trim off the excess tinsel. And you can see the shape that that thorax is going to take with those wing buds sticking out slightly to the side. I'm using some Bug Bond Light here. It's a nice runny UV resin. I'm going to give a first coat, making sure that the wing buds and the thorax are nicely covered and that the gap underneath the wing buds is filled in. It gives a little bit of translucency and a very nice effect to the fly. Now I'm going to give everything a good blast with the UV torch, make sure it's all nice and cured. And I'm paying a special attention to getting the light inside and underneath those slips of jungle cock. Now for a second coat I'm going to cover the rest of the body and blend everything into the thorax. This is going to protect the body and that peacock curl and make the fly a lot more durable. I was a bit stingy with the resin. I'm going to add a little dab more and then cure everything off. I like to fish this fly as the middle or bottom dropper on a three buzzer cast and I've had some really good success with it on still waters, especially in spring and summer. So here I've cured everything off. Give this one a go. You can substitute other materials for the cheeks and it makes a really nice buzzer pattern. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.